Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see, we have started with the modeling of this particular stylish kitchen over here. So let's get started. So very first of all, what I'll be doing over here is like, <clears throat> I'll be creating a table over here. So let's just go to the top view over here. And let's just select its height till here. So I'll go into this view up till here. So I'll just convert to editable poly and slightly just push it over here. After that, I'll go into the modeling and I'll put one loop over here. Select the vertices, slightly just push it in this way. And from the bottom, I'll just shift it a bit up more over here. So select this polygons and let's give a bit of extrude and local normal will keep it. Now into this, I'll again go over here, put one loop, put one loop over here. So this is going to be a long part. After that, Let's put one swift loop over here, one over here, select the vertices, scale it, and select the polygons over here. So before we do with this, I'll just uh, place one loop over here. Place one loop over here, place one loop over here. So after that, so select this polygons over here select this all and let's slightly give a bit of extrude and I'll just end isolate this Alright, so select this polygons and slightly give a bit of inset and let's just extrude it a bit inside, click OK. So now what I'll be doing over here is like, I'll just put one loop over here one here, I'll just save the file once. So just select this and let's just duplicate it. So shift it over here. Shuffle it down. Shift and drag, copy it 
and now what I'll be doing over here is like I'll just go to the top view and I'll just take a cylinder so what I can do over here is like I'll just convert to editable poly before that so I can just push this up a bit convert to editable poly use again a swift loop so select this polygons bevel it by local normal So just shift this up till here. So this might be a hinge. Shift and drag, duplicate it. Again copy this till here now over here what I can do is like I'll slightly just shuffle this over here and I'll create some kind of three shelves So select this polygons So select this Let's give a bit of inset and extrude it inset it by polygon and extrude it click OK so now I can again go over here I can just select this shift and drag it So I'll keep it one only that would be much better you can do it according to your way also that's totally fine so let's just select this part and this part just duplicate that So you can just go over here and just give this particular color to it. Again save your file. I'll go over here and again take swift loop in this way.
so just select this slightly just shuffle it down and extrude it or you can just slightly give a bit of insert by group over here not much but a bit so select this polygons over here also so select this edges and click ok alright so I can just make this a bit of transparent definitely will be giving a bit of a glass over here we will do that later on if you want I can do that right now also so I'll just go into rendering render setup and I'll just activate this V-Ray over here and I'll just take a V-Ray material and just give a glass over here assign it I'm sorry I gave uh, reflection I need to go with reflection all right okay so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so if you're not subscribed my youtube channel yet please do subscribe so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial.